Hi Pisces, how are you? I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to your romance reading for March. I'm sorry it's a bit late but now you can also see whether it resonates with you the first two weeks or not and of course this week will kind of flow over into the third week. You can find in all the information below the video in the description box and also in this corner you can see a little white circle with an eye in it and that will take you to the website and there you can see all the information and um, if you would like an extensive reading what kind of readings there all is. There is a special offer that if you take um, a, a reading whether it's a general or a romance reading then you'll have a, another option to get a second reading for basically uh, a cheaper rate in, within the next six months. So I would suggest go and have a look and see whether you would like to have a reading and get a, <clears throat> another extensive reading or an, uh, an update on the extensive reading, sorry, uh, within the next six months. It's something that I think it's a good follow up uh, because you might be left with questions and you might take time to ponder and think about it and evaluate it and then you can always take a second reading. So go and have a look at the website. Okay, and please leave a reaction behind and you're more than welcome to scout around. There you can also find the review on uh, the decks of the House of Shadows and of course also the um, Enchanted Dream Tarot and Metatron and lots more to come. Okay, so let's get started with your reading and welcome if you're new. Please subscribe and hit that bell, then you'll be notified. And if you don't want to be notified, then please subscribe. And then the channel will be saved in, the, in your library and it, uh, you'll be able to find it back much easier. Um, also, hi my cyber angels, thank you very much for your super support and remember that English life nights uh, have changed. They will be on Monday and Friday as I'm expanding rapidly. The family is growing really big so I've decided to do Wednesday nights for the Dutch. Hallo iedereen, um, dit is even heel vlug. Hartstikke fijn dat je weer even langs wipt om te komen kijken en um, uh, welkom ook voor de nieuwe mensen. Please, alsjeblieft, uh, word lid en klik op de bel. Dan word je genotificeerd als nieuwe lezingen uh, geüpload worden um, of als ik live ga. Woensdagavond is de Nederlandse avond voor de live sessies. En daar kan je ook een vraag stellen. Zolang je op de dollar knopje drukt, dat is een donatie doen. Je kan gewoon een donatie doen of je kan ook een super sticker donatie doen. Dat is hartstikke leuk. En dan geef ik je drie kaarten voor je antwoord eh, met een orakelkaart. Je kan meer informatie vinden onder de video in de omschrijvingsvakje, hier beneden, beneden de video. Je kan hier lid worden en natuurlijk hierboven zie je een wit rondje met een i. Dat neemt, als je daar klikt, dan word je gelijk doorgeleid naar de website. Daar kan je ook alle, alle herzieningen zien van de deks en ook uh, de vlog van de heks die ik deze week gedaan heb en dat wordt elke woensdag vervolgd. Wat zijn heksen, wat doen heksen, wat is alternatief me me medicijnen, etc. Et Het wordt heel uitgebreid um, gediscussieerd, maar we nemen naar een, uh, een dek, de or heksen orakeldek, en van daaruit gaan we in discussie. Ik hoop dat je dat zal kijken en geef allemaal duimpjes op en delen met vrienden en familie. Oké, okay, nou gaan we weer terug naar jullie lezing. Jullie kunnen de ondertiteling aanzetten omdat het in Engels is. Zodat andere mensen ook een ondertiteling in, ja in Japans, Chinees of wat ook maar uh, kan gebruiken. Want Engels is een internationale taal. Oké, okay, so here we go. Pisces. 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 I just had to do a little bit of a Dutch introduction because there's a lot of changes here. Like I said, Friday night is the English night and the Monday night and you can also ask a question, do a super chat or a super 
uh, um, sticker and I will answer your question with three cards and an oracle card. The first card for March is let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And to clarify this card is ooh, something is uh, you might find the house very upside down, topsy turvy. There might not be any peace in the house at the moment. That is what I'm reading with this. So you're trying to control the situation by um, you might not want to clear up. You might you might be too busy because you're also working outside the house. And this card is really, really busy 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 and everybody's floating everywhere it can be ghosts there can be creepy things around you but it seems as everybody is floating and doing their own thing that is what comes to me and this is what i feel like you don't feel at peace you can't find any peace so that's why you want to lay down the law and take over control you pick up your room you clean your room can you go and do this? Uh, I need to have that fixed. Everybody has to do something. I think, um, like the card says, let the control issues um, dissolve by their own. Okay, let the in, uh, let the situation um, unfold. Just let it be known what you would like and what, how the house should be. It should be peaceful. It should be quiet. It should feel safe. It should feel homey. So, just have a family meeting and put your issues on the table. Listen to what everybody has to say and let it unfold. And otherwise, take a page out of their book. If the kids are not cleaning up their rooms, then just give them an alternative. There are black bags and you're not getting any new clothes. I know what it feels like because uh, I've been there, done that. It is like a fighting a losing battle. So take a, a page out of their book. Go outside and enjoy yourself. Don't isolate yourself in the house. Go and see your friend. Go for a cup of coffee. Go for a cup of tea. Go and see somebody else. And you've got number four. So the house means stability and safety and uh, protection. But if something uh, like that, busy, busy, busy bee, and everybody's all over the place, then it is not comfortable. It's not stable. It is, you get agitated. So I would advise you, spread your wings. Go out there, mingle, make friends. Go and join a club if you haven't got any friends. And get some peace so you can you don't you can handle the rubbish <laughs> and everybody doing their own thing they might notice that you're not home and then the bells might ring wow and what did uh, this card I did not sort them out codependency it doesn't have to be your partner it can also be the people living in the house and it is it is like you you need to control your 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 relationship and i don't um, it is or rather you need to control the relationship with your kids or the people living in the house it could be your mother or your father or an other relative that is um, irritating you and that's why you're trying to control the relationship because it's affecting your love life and they might be codependent okay Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Wow. And I, I, I read these cards a thousand times, but I still cannot remember what uh, has been said. And I said codependency. Kids are codependent. So the kids can be also affecting your life. And it's boring. And I really don't like it either. Now, you've got ancestors uh, for the second card and clarifying codependency. And um, yes, in the olden days, that is ancestors. Um, ancestors are your aunts, your uncles, your grandmothers, your grandfathers. In the olden days, yes, people were taken care of by the next generation. So, and what kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? Do you want to leave a stressed parent behind? 
the memory that the kids have a stressed parent, uh, always fighting, uh, being uh, manipulating, controlling, let it go, even if it is not in your nature. Okay? Let it go, because you're the one that's harming yourself. You're getting stressed out, not them. I don't know how the kids now do it nowadays, but they do more or less their own thing. Now is the time to consider what it is you are leaving behind as evidence of your earth walk. It is your relationships, a book or your artwork or assisting others. That's why I said, leave the house, go and do something constructive, productive, make yourself happy. Um, how do you say it? Um, coming into, uh, oh, I forgot the word now. I'm sorry, guys. Interaction, interaction or doing something also brings um, relaxation. Okay. So go and do artwork. Go and do something with somebody else. Assist an elderly person that is not codependent. Go and drink a cup of coffee. There are some elderly that are lonely and they would love to see you and get to know you. Join an organization. Go and, and do um, um, lunch, serving lunch, uh, lunch around the neighborhood. Look to inward, look inside of you and to surround the surrounding cards in your spread to assess your legacy and work relentlessly to achieve your chosen goals. Are you going to leave the kids or partners with a picture as a legacy? She was always stressed and ordering and controlling. Let go. Let them find out the new you, how you can be, that you don't have to be at home, that you can network, you've got friends, you've got a life of your own. That will also um, be beneficial to your relationship. Trust. They will survive without you, but they do need you because they love you, whether you've got kids or not, or parents or somebody that's codependent living with you in the house. Okay? This situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust it. So you can do something about it by inventing something new that you can uh, let go of the stress. Your wish is coming true because you've got the star. And that's number 16, 7. Luck is on your side. But you have to take action. Somebody might be deceitful in the relationship, but as it is a romance reading, but I think somebody might be hiding their feelings and they're wearing a mask. So they're not opening up to you. Perhaps this could be that they're worried about you and then um, that you are controlling because it doesn't nobody likes controlling people and they don't want they don't realize themselves that they uh, they are codependent or it could be their parent your partner's parent or relative that is living in the house and they are codependent and it's affecting the relationship and they're hiding their true feelings Okay, it could be something as simple as that. It doesn't have to be a third party in the sense of a new love. It could be a third party like a parent, a grandparent that is codependent and interfering and whoa, they are they are hiding the true feelings. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. It's okay to take care of the parents and I respect that immensely, but you should have a life together and a life uh, separate. You should have a life of your own. Your partner should have a life of your own and a life together. And everything around that should be first place, but second place. I don't know whether you can understand it. If you have kids or codependent uh, elderly people in, in the house, then yes, they should respect that. So you, sh you should, like I said, get a family meeting and set your boundaries for you and for your partner. They have to know where they stand and they should respect that, whether they're children or parents. You've got the garden. Somebody else is coming back from the past. Like I said, 
It could be the elderly around you that want to come and live with you or need, need you to take care of them. They might come round. There might be a family meeting, a family gathering. And I said family meeting. Okay, a reuniting. So the balance will be back because you've got 20. That's a number two. Or there could be a third part, uh, an, an old friend coming back as well. You could be going to meetings. You could be going to parties. You could um, um, presentations. Perhaps your husband uh, might be staying at home and you're going to do something new. Like I said, join a club. So you are going to go to meetings. Uh, if you're going for a yoga session, that is also a meeting. You might meet somebody from the past, an old schoolmate, be it a girl or a man. Anyway, there is a new beginning. You're closing off an old face. So once you've had this meeting with the powwow with the family uh, and this reunion, there will be um, a new face beginning. You clearly know what you want and people have to respect your boundaries and you and your partner's boundaries. There will be a new beginning for you and your partner if you take off the mask and open up and tell the truth and be the, be the truth. Talk from the heart. Then you can find the balance back. Express Wow and express your love. Express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. There will be understanding. If you let your boundaries be known, there will be respect. Okay. You've got burgundy from the angel's feather. Invite a miracle. The angels love receiving invitations to be part of your life. Ask and you shall receive. Ask help from the angels. Ask and you shall receive. So have a glass of wine or wear burgundy or meditate on burgundy. And let the angels and the universe know what you wish. Be careful what you wish. Wish, I would like balance and I would like peace. I would like to have a quality in my relationship. I would like openness, truth, faith trust. You've got the card, a spiritual card, purple. Serendipity, right place at the right time. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key places you exactly where you are meant to be. You will receive an extraordinary gift. You will receive a gift. You will receive a wish. Also a gift. Oh no, a reunion. Sorry. There you go. And Archangel Michael is the blue colour of the chakra. That's the throat. So say your peace. Okay. Let it out. And also... You've got burgundy. Well, we haven't got burgundy, but burgundy is made of brown and red. And red is Archangel Uriel to ground you. And brown is also earth, the earth color. So ground yourself. This is what I'm getting from your reading, <coughs> Pisces. I hope you have enjoyed this reading and take note. Take care of yourself. Get out of the house. Have your own life, whether it's in work or in charity work, volunteer work or in joining a club. But get away from the stress from the house. <clears throat> Let others know you're not you're their servant. And communicate. Have this powwow and make it clear, okay, what you wish. Know also their boundaries. Let them know you are interested in knowing what their boundaries are and what they wish. You have this good, strong relationship, but stay honest and open and communicate. Go 
outside. You are here in the right place and the right time to make this change. The angels have heard you. Ask and thou shalt be given. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope you certainly will share and like. Give us the thumbs up with family and friends as well. Take care, be blessed and I'll see you in April or in the next reading or life.